Good morning everyone, Brandon here. I haven't done this in a while, um, this kind of video at least. Uh, it is a beautiful day here in Connecticut. Nice and bright and sunny, unfortunately very cold. Um, but it looks like we got some warmer temperatures in the forecast next week, which is cool. But anyways, back to the important stuff. Uh, I know a lot of you like my toy haul videos um, when I make my pickups. So today I'm heading one town over from me. Um, I saw a listing on Facebook Marketplace last night. This guy had listed over a hundred um, eight, late 80s, early 90s wrestling action figures. Um, all sorts of different ones. Uh, pretty pumped about it, but even better is the fact that I messaged it. I, this is what you guys gotta do. If you see postings like that, always ask what else they have. So I asked him if he had any, I said, I'll take the wrestlers for your asking price. Um, do you have any other toys, action figures, Pokemon cards, video games, etc.? cetera? Uh, he then proceeded to send me pictures of three other large bins of vintage toys, Ghostbusters, Ninja Turtles, all the things that are right up my alley. Um, I only saw what's on top of the bins, of course, so I'm excited to dig and show you guys what I find. So let's check it out. All right, guys, so I have made my pickup. I am at my shop brought in one of the bins as you can see it's full of all sorts of goodies old school ninja turtle weapons <laughs> i don't know how many of you remember these but old autograph books from disney <laughs> so good mini hilarious but yeah so there's all sorts of stuff in here from turtles to ghostbusters wrestlers diecast cars some lovely old starting lineups <laughs> and just really a cool mix of all sorts of stuff and then this was a surprise brand new sealed color screen for the PS2 So I'm going to bring in the rest of the bins and we'll go through this more in depth, the mask. Pretty awesome. So out of this first bin, we've got some cars, a couple uh, starting lineups, Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire. There's all some random uh, accessories for turtles and whatnot, other random odds and ends. This is from RC from Toy Story. I think he's in the other bin. We got turtles. Ghostbusters, some of which I needed for my own collection, like these guys here, the glow-in-the-dark ones, awesome. Uh, we got a containment unit, which is perfect, because I was missing it from my firehouse down here. This is the smaller of the two that come with it. A couple other Ghostbusters odds and ends, a bunch of monsters and ghosts, which is always cool oh, as I throw things around. I actually don't know what this is from. Could be Ghostbusters as well, but it doesn't look familiar. Some of the big Power Rangers, some trolls, even a few treasure trolls with the gem and the belly button. Bunch of starting lineups, Hulk, some Batman and other random figures, even a little Skeletor, a couple Toy Story guys, and the mask. Good old Jim Carrey. So now I've got a couple other large bins. Um, with all sorts of other goodies if I could talk. So let's check them out So this was box number two and inside was a game gear With Lion King and what's cool is the battery compartments are not uh, Corroded some random Ninja Turtle parts. This is a pizza shooter Hopefully the bottoms in one of the other boxes, but it's okay if it's not This is super familiar to me, but I don't remember what it's from maybe a game of some sort uh, Batmobile, RC from Toy Story, some little mini football helmets, which are kind of cool. This is for the Ninja Turtles blimp, and so are these little like, fins and stuff, but I'm hoping... Uh, I don't I mean, I don't see the uh, actual inflatable blimp part, which sucks. These are pizzas for the pizza shooter. I'm excited about this, because this is the large uh, Samurai Raphael. 
Um, I don't have that in my turtles collection, so now I do. Come over here, we got a nice Ghostbusters backpack, but this one has seen better days. Um, a functioning ghost trap. Of course, it's not going to work now that I'm on the camera. It's because the hose is crimped, but that does work. This pack, which I never had, which is cool. A couple other blasters and accessories. The bug pretty cool this I also didn't have it's like an electronic ghost trap it makes sounds it's missing the battery door but once again not corroded so that's cool a um, bunch of other little ghost hunting accoutrement <laughs> um, a complete complete pack here pretty cool and then of course an Ecto one um, this one should clean up nicely uh, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser will do the trick. Um, should get it nice bright white again. There's no cracks or breaks, which is cool. Has the seat with an unbroken seat belt. And all the decals are actually here too. They just dried up and the adhesive dried and they fell off. So hopefully I'll be able to reattach those. So that is box number two and I still have three giant bins in the car. All right, so now we've arrived at what is the meat and potatoes of this most recent pickup, this collection, and it is vintage wrestling figures. These guys are from the 80s, the old Titan LJN, the large rubber figures. Some of them even have their original accessories. You can never find this guy's hat, this guy with his guitar. So as you can see, there are a lot of them. Some of them are more noticeable. I know some of you would know that guy. Um, but yeah, it is just crazy impressive. This is one of my glass cases covered in them. And then we go over here, check this out. The big Hulkster, he's huge, 16 inches. We got the Titan LJN variant with the white tank top, pretty valuable. As well as the Ultimate Warrior, which is a very valuable one as well. And then a bunch more. Triple Hulks. Triple Rowdy Roddy Pipers. The Killer Bees. Sheesh. And then we get into the old Hasbros. Look at it. He's even got his bone necklace accessory. Once again, he's got his guitar. There are some more rare ones mixed in here. You got the Undertaker. Woo. Doink. Another Ultimate Warrior. Some Hulks. It is just a crazy amount. Vader. <laughs> of figures. And then we go down here. And we have 1996 through 1999 Jack Specific figures. The Rock. Another Vader. And over here we have some Toy Biz. And then some ECW figures. Sabu. Pretty awesome. And then up here we even have some of these minis. It's almost a full set, but it is missing his partner. I'm drawing a blank. I'm not that great with wrestling. Forget the name, but yeah, these little guys are 1991 Titan Sports Hasbro. Almost a complete set there, which is pretty cool. Once again, you got Rowdy. Pretty awesome. And then there's even more. These are all figures... That the previous owner decided that they wanted to uh, customize. He painted all over them. Um, which is unfortunate because some of these are harder to find. A little valuable like this guy. He painted a goatee on him. He painted his knee pads and his boot. I'm going to try to use acetone. It's going to be hard to do without um, causing damage to the original paint. Then you got stuff like this. Cool little Hulk Hogan bobblehead. Um, there's a whole bin of accessories here this is a little play set it's almost like a it's almost like a poly pocket but it's a wrestling ring with a bunch of little figures um but yeah we got more accessories for some of the figures 
um, some cool uh, <laughs> some cool other accessories that came with like the rings. Um, I do have a few rings at home as well that came with this set, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, just a bunch of randoms. And then little odds and ends here. Even a couple, there's three, uh, who remembers this show? American Gladiators. Laser. Gemini. And Nitro. I remember Nitro, that's funny. But yeah, that is the majority of the collection. And it is pretty insane. <laughs> Made a mess in my shop with all the wrestlers. But that's it for this adventure. I appreciate you guys for checking it out. And we'll see you soon.